Hey, how's it going, everybody? Uh, happy Friday. Uh, hope you're all enjoying your week or whatever so far. Uh, this is just going to be a short one of me using Illustrator to make a kind of like conference room logo for our squadron. They sent me kind of the basic idea of the stripes kind of laid out like that, which I liked, but the picture they sent in the PowerPoint was a, uh, a normal like photo. It wasn't, it wasn't a vector or whatever, so I had to find some vectors. Luckily, there were some vectors online that I could use for these stripes. And then uh, the shop just kind of had the idea of making it look like a Spartan shield, so just kind of rounded. So this is me just going through it, kind of like playing around. Uh, I was kind of learning as I went on this part. I haven't really messed with the whole, like, I've mostly just been drawing with this. I haven't actually made like a actual, you know, a logo or anything that requires text to be wrapped around in a certain way and have it all sit the right way. So you see me going through all the menus. Uh, eventually, after trying to give up learning it myself, you know, Illustrator is a little bit more intuitive than Photoshop. Like, it's a little bit easier to learn, but not by much. Sometimes you have to go to YouTube University. But, uh, yeah, there's, I mean, this is probably what took the most time, trying to uh, write words on a path. So on the circle is just kind of how you do it. And it was giving me trouble for a while. But, you know, I eventually learned how to do it and all that fun stuff. Uh, yeah, you can see it's giving me all kinds of trouble. <laughs> so this is kind of like the basic uh, idea of, you know, what I had in my head, kind of the rounded off words, the stripes in the middle, and then now she'll see you later, I'll add some like cool Spartan stuff to it. Sorry if that sounded weird, I ended up biting the end of my tongue the other day, which hurt, so it's been hurting for the past few days, and then sometime in my sleep last night, I bit it again in the same spot and now it really hurts so it kind of hurts to talk but hey you know it is what it is we'll power through so it's looking like i finally got this where i wanted it now we're just looking for different options and stuff drop shadows making it fit the circle better like I said, this probably took me the most time out of all of it. Like, I'm trying to get these circles to line up and be in the right spot. Hey! Look at that. Going through all the menus, trying to figure out what I can do with it, like what kind of cool effects I can add. Um, I wanted to add a gradient background. I figured, you know, making it look kind of Air Force y with the, the silver and the blue and the white. Might, might play well aesthetically, but getting the gradient to line up with this was kind of a pain in the butt. I think it's turning out pretty cool so far, though. Uh, still me going through the menu trying to figure out. Hey, oh, there it goes. <laughs> trying to figure out what I wanted to do. Uh, you can do uh, like left to right kind of gradient or. A, the circle, the radial, which is what I ended up going with, uh, make it look like a shield. Tried some different things, like having a shadow in the middle too, but it ended up just looking too weird, so I went with. In, the, in these uh, these moments where it just pauses, it's me most likely researching something. Because at this point, I mean, I think I worked on this for like an hour, which isn't too bad, still I didn't really want to waste a whole lot of time 
figuring out something when I can find. So I added another circle in there with another uh, gradient. Give it that kind of shadow look that the shields are known for. I put a shadow on the stripes and then just a little bit. It's nice whenever you start figuring things out. Uh, oh yeah, that's that's the uh, cool little shield design that I found online. Uh, but yeah, it, it's nice whenever you start figuring things out because it makes the creative process a lot better. Like it's completely different what you know what you're doing like to be able to achieve what's in your head on the computer is probably the biggest thing that's you know standing in the way of making good computers because I mean this pro game can do anything you just have to know how to do it <laughs> but uh yeah uh, surprisingly well kind of unsurprisingly too the uh, Spartan Shield is super popular. And online, like, I couldn't find a free image of it. Like, you had to sit there. You had to pay, uh, some people wanted, like, $15 just for the one, you know, round picture. I wasn't gonna do all that. Like, if worse come to worse, I was just gonna, like, draw it myself on here. But I found that really cool one of, uh, the shield with all the lines and stuff around it, all the, the pattern, and I thought that would look really cool. So yeah, it up good. Yeah, now I'm just adding some letters on there. Uh, this is just kind of the, the first draft of it, or a rough draft of it. It's definitely not done yet, but uh, I think it's definitely starting out the right way. And then I gotta get it ready for the, the printer. So, thanks, thanks for watching though.